It's Brie. Welcome to another one of my Instagram editing tutorials. I want to make sure you're watching this on your phone as it's going to be mobile friendly. Hope you get a lot out of this. Enjoy. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to edit um, a, this picture was actually taken with my DSLR. You definitely could have used an iPhone. Uh, iPhones, I find, do really good on solid backgrounds. Um, but for, we just decided to use our DSLR this time. So we're going to go from this kind of dark, a little crooked even, to just bright light, a little warmer, a little more fun. Um, and I evened everything out. I made all the lines parallel. That's like a personal pet peeve of mine. And I think it looks a lot better. So from here to here, here we go. So we're going to go into um, my photography file. I hope you have one too at this point with all of your favorite editing apps. Like, like I normally do, I start and pick top go. That's just my workflow. Everyone can find what works for them best. I like pick top go. Let's see, where is our little picture? Here it is. So um, what I want to do is I'm going to hit the edit button. And right away, I'm going to go to adjustments. So you can also on pick top go, you can hit my style and you can save your favorite recipes, which is nice. But right now I'm going to go over to adjustments and or I'm sorry, filters. And I'm going to start with some bright side, my favorite way to lighten a picture. I feel like it doesn't blow out highlights as much. So I'm going to go probably almost all the way up to brighten this up. And then I'm going to add some warmth there. Let's warm it up a little bit. Oh, already so much better. It's just unreal. Just warm this sucker up. So this was taken in shade. Um, I like to take pictures in shade because it's if it's darker, not as light, and cooler, you are able to control that a lot better with your edits than if something's overly bright and warm. It's, it's kind of harder to bring that back. So I always prefer to shoot cooler sh and shoot in, in, in the shady environment. And then also, too, if you're using your iPhone, it does a much better in shade, too, than in bright sun. So we're going to pull that all the way over. It just looks so much better already. I'm going to go down and hit um, a touch of awake, just a touch of that. I like the effect that gives, and I am just so I'm just stoked on this so much better already. We're going to go ahead and save that. And now I'm going, I'm actually going, the next um, app I'm going to open, I haven't talked about this one, is Perfect 365. So this is a face editor. I'm not one for over editing your face and trying to make it look perfect. You can tell when someone, I mean, I, sorry, I can tell, um, their eyes are like blindingly white and <laughs> their face looks like, like clearly airbrushed to the max. A touch of this is nice, but I actually use this, um, this app to make a picture look higher quality. So I, this is the one I've had for years. I'm sh I know that there's Facetune and, and different ones, just whatever works for you. I don't know if this is um, the snazziest face editing app, but it's just what I'm comfortable with. It's what I've used. So we're going to go photo makeup. So I'm going to go to all my pictures. I'm going to go to the picture I just, ex the last picture that I just exported out. So it's going to detect me and Elle's face. Hers is fine. Honestly, I'm, everything's fine with my face. I'm going to hit tools and I'm going to go to soften skin because as you soften the skin up, not too much, Look at the difference. It just makes the picture look higher quality. There's less grain. There's less distraction. So sometimes when I want my picture to look a little crisper, look at you can like do crazy things. Never go that high. Never ever. But just a touch of this, I find makes the picture look higher quality. So it kind of takes all that grainy um, distortion out of or blotchiness out of my face. So we're gonna put that up maybe two thirds. And then my picture's pretty far away. So I mean, maybe like a little less than that. Um, so we're going to save that. Now Elle's face is fine. Her little baby skin and her face is down. You can't really see. So that's just kind of increasing the quality of my photo. So now I'm going to open in Visco. I've already done one, but let's get ours up here. So I think that this looks good in my feed. I, you don't have to be crazy about your feed. I look at it like a puzzle. I have fun with it. Um, it I kind of think that this picture balanced, um, the picture I'm uploading balanced with the kids on the bed. And I just like that way it looks in my feed. So it made me happy. I was happy to put that in that corner up there. 
So now we're gonna add our filter here. I'm gonna do a touch of A6, which I tend to go to first. If it, do, if it doesn't look right in a picture, I'll play around and find something else. I'm liking the A6 on here. I think it looks great. Let's see. I'm gonna go pretty far over, maybe about seven and a half, eight. Let's go about seven and a half. Um, on this one, I'm gonna sharpen it. And then I'm actually gonna pull up the grain, which I think adds kind of a fun vintagey feel. So let's go here and find where's the grain. So just a touch of grain goes a long way. I think it just kind of makes it look a little, you can see that's too, too much, but just a touch of it kind of makes the picture look vintagey, which I feel like our outfits are kind of vintagey, so I like that. So something that's bugging me in this picture is that it's taking at a slight angle. So the, um, I usually like to take my picture square on. You do not have to do this. I think, Insta like, you know, it's this is a preference, definitely, but just because it's at a slight angle, it's kind of bugging me. So I'm gonna go, and, and what's great in Visco, you can adjust that. So I'm gonna go over to my X axis, axis, and I'm gonna pull that forward a little bit, um, the left side of my photo, so that it's even. Look at how that just, I'm just a little bit funny that I, I like my picture, it's very square. Oh, that just like scratches an itch for me so much better. Okay, we're gonna crop this down just a scotch, just a touch of crop. There we go. Let's see. Maybe even a little is going on excuse me I'm not trying to get that okay well I can do that in my camera after that looks great and let's warm it up just a, a bit more temperature we're gonna warm that up just want this to feel summery and fun and glowy perfect um, I normally would check my tint this looks pretty good not too green or not too pink so we'll go ahead and keep it as is, but I want to show you how it would look either way. I already messed around with this, but so we could go a little more pink, a little more green. I think it's great just right where it is. I'm going to up the contrast a touch. At, when I upload to Instagram, I usually try to sharpen and upload the contrast one more time because sometimes um, when they're resizing their photos, it loses a little bit of the sharpness and the contrast. So just a little bit. I just want this picture to pop, especially against the white background, so I'm going to and that's it. I think it looks great. Let's go ahead and save it. Let's go ahead and compare it again to um, our initial photo. There's going to be two there now because I had saved. Oh, there we go. So you can see our progression from there to there. Yahoo! All right. Hope this helped, guys. Um, look forward to sharing another one of these with you guys soon. Let me know uh, in the comments if you have any specific requests. I'm actually even thinking about editing some of your guys' photos. So that could be a fun project this week. I hope everyone has a great week. I hope you guys are having fun getting out there, taking pictures, and editing your little hearts out. All right. See you later. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, maybe give it a like and even get crazier and subscribe. Bye, guys.